help, all my files are gone. This for many has to be the most horrible thought or experience you can have when it comes to computers. No one should really have to go through that. And I myself have been a victim in February 2017 and I did panic back then, but luckily I could restore and recover all of my files. In this video we are dealing with the topic, what to do when your data is suddenly gone. There are a few different reasons something like that can happen, be it accidental deletion or due to nasty crashes, viruses or hardware slash hard drive failure, all of these factors partially in the worst case scenario can leave you without any of your data. Although if you're dealing with a hard drive defect or rather failure, I have to let you down, the success rate isn't looking too good there. Of course there are special businesses out there that can help you recover your precious data from all kinds of drives, even from dead drives. But as you may can guess, such services can be very pricey. So today I'm going to show you a piece of software that can help you recover your files from a physically healthy drive and what you should look out for in the process in order not to destroy any data. There are a bunch of data recovery tools out there and a well-known developer is EaseUs. Today I'm in fact testing out the product named Data Recovery Wizard by EaseUs. And I'd also like to let you know that this video is sponsored by EaseUs. For this video I receive a bit of money because you gotta know, many of my hardware reviews those products I pay out of my own pocket. Nonetheless I fully stand behind the software. But I of course like to remain honest with you guys which is why I always inform you when I'm getting paid for what content. Now with that out of the way, let's get to it. Before any of you start tinkering, stop, do not touch anything for now. I'm warning you, please, under no circumstances should you actively use the hard drive you lost your data from, because there's the risk of overriding those files, especially when dealing with a boot drive with an operating system on it. Now just so you guys know right away, data recovery for the most part is not for free. So if you happen to really care about your data, be ready to pay a price. While EaseUs does offer a free trial version, with that one you you can only recover 500 megabytes of data, 2 gigabytes at max. Meaning for the pro version you'd have to shell out 83 US dollars or 79 euros. For me personally that's definitely worth it, but it's a decision you have to make on your own. Alright, now that we've cleared it up, let's simulate an extremely unpleasant case. I'll quickly destroy the data in a very simple way and afterwards I'll try recovering it. The victim today is this 500 gigabyte hard drive. First I'm putting some common files on it, such as a PDF file for instance, a bit of music and some images. If I wanted to make the recovery super easy, I'd simply delete those files and empty the recycle bin. But nope, I'm going to the disk management and brutally delete the whole partition. Should your files be on drive C though, so where Windows is on, you should not write any data onto that drive. Meaning no installations and minimal usage in general. A second hard drive or an external solution would be recommended. Quite often I've heard about Windows update overriding lost files, which is why I'd advise you to navigate to the Windows services and temporarily disable Windows update. I mean, it's not a must, just my recommendation, only if the drive C is affected by data loss however. So now let's download data recovery wizard. Again, do not save the file onto the affected hard drive. The language of course can be changed, but I prefer English anyway. And again watch out where exactly you're installing the software onto, not on the affected hard drive. The download and installation process is pretty fast here and in theory you could enter your license key right at the beginning, but you can do it later on too. The last partition is already detected by the software, so now I'm starting the scan. Depending on the capacity and speed of the drive, that process can take a while. My particular last files have been found pretty quickly though. Now I'd recommend waiting for the scan to fully complete and if you want to start recovering, do not stop the scan. We do have the option to recover found files during the scan. And if, let's say you stop the scan, those found files could in some cases only be recoverable in many clusters without any directories and whatnot, leaving those files damaged, corrupted and ultimately not readable. There's a whole lot found. In fact, I do notice lots of files and folders from older previous partitions. Extremely useful in my opinion is the search feature and the filter. You can filter out the most recent files for instance and these in fact are my files I've copied 
over to this hard drive and quote, destroy it, end quote, earlier before. There's even a preview available for the different files. That's impressive, well done. So now I'd like to begin with the recovery of those selected files. As said before, it is recommended to wait for the whole scan to complete. But with smaller files, a recovery could work this early into the scan. Then you simply specify a folder where you want your rescued files to be stored. Very important once again, do not save anything onto the affected hard drive. Always save onto a different drive. And there we go, my selected files are now secured and completely readable. Since that's all I actually needed for my experiment, I'm stopping the scan. However, I'll do a bonus test, this time around with the drive C. On the desktop I have this, let's say, a very important graphics card BIOS ROM file. And oops, look at that, how clumsy of me, I accidentally delete the file. And oh no, on top of that my finger slipped and I now accidentally emptied the recycle bin. Gone is the file. So let's fire up data recovery wizard once more and this time I'm selecting the drive C. I'm hoping for a quick find of my file here too. The file was in a folder on the desktop, which is why I'm navigating to my Windows account through all those directories until I reach the desired folder. And this one I'm going to recover again, as shown earlier before. And voila, the file is now back from the hard drive underworld. And that pretty much sums this video up. All I can say is, the EaseUs data recovery wizard did manage to impress me, which is why I can totally recommend using it. Of course it costs a fair bit of money, but as you've seen, it does a good job. Needless to say, there's no guarantee you'll be able to successfully recover data at all times. And I really hope very few people need to use software like this one, because data loss is horrible and no one should have to go through it. But at least there's hope and many times lost files can be rescued. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful. Many things I've mentioned in this video applies to many other recovery tools as well, not just ESAS. And with that said, thanks to all of you guys that stuck around to the very end of this video.